So that about wraps it up. All that's left is to just reverse the polarity on the shrink ray to bring me back to my normal size. Oh boy, that's gonna be a long walk home. Oh, hi there. Intel fellow Mark Bohr here, still following the seemingly never-ending path of Moore's Law. When I last saw you, I was introducing Intel's 22 nanometer transistor process. But, just like my walk, technology never stops moving ahead. Now, Intel has improved on this design and created a brand new 14 nanometer process. Since I'm already the perfect size, let's take a look at what's changed. Here's a familiar sight, Intel's 32 nanometer planar transistor. As you'll remember, the 22 nanometer process made the jump into the third dimension with its trigate transistor design, offering better performance, power, and density. In our last video, we showed a single fin to illustrate this concept for simplicity. But in reality, most 22 nanometer transistors produced today feature not just one, but multiple trigate fins, often three or four. To meet the challenges of the 14 nanometer process, the trigate fins were once again the main areas of focus. We made them taller, thinner, and spaced closer together. This improved technology provides three major benefits. First of all, it is faster, allowing more processing and ultimately better performance. Secondly, the new design requires less active power, contributing to longer battery life and also helping to reduce our carbon footprint. Third, the new 14 nanometer trigate fins are so effective that we can get by with fewer of them, requiring even less area per transistor. And taken together, the improvements of this new 14 nanometer design result in an improved user experience that enriches the many parts of our lives touched by technology. You know, it's hard to keep up with the pace of innovation here at Intel, and it's even harder when you're microscopically small. But for now, my walk continues. You know, I wonder if there's a nano bus stop around here somewhere. Hmm. Thank you.